So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can add more capabilities to chart selection events. We're going to drop a chart, hook it up to data from employees, and then we'll show the salary for each employee, and we'll also include information about the department as the series over here. If we now finish, you would see a little chart that looks like this, where the color of the items indicates which department the employee is in. Okay. What you can enable now on the chart is there's a property called selection. Okay, the selection mode. And we can enable, for example, a single select. And then we can have an event over here that would allow us to uh, react to the selection event. And over here we can show something. Um, so for example, we can fire a notification. Okay. And in the notification, we have access to the selection item. So let's select this one. We'll show it also over here. Okay. And we'll uh, have this as um, an information event. All right. So now if we look at our page, we'll refresh it over here and we'll show you the behavior. When we click on something, we get information about the ID of the item we selected here. So Chris is employee number two, Sean is employee number one, okay? Now the tricky part is how do I get information about the actual series that this item belongs to, okay? Um, if we actually pick up the developer tools over here and look at the console, I'm gonna clear everything and we are going to click here on um, an item, okay? And you can see what we're invoking here. We're invoking the event and we're passing in information. And the information we're passing in is the event details value. However, there is more than just that that we can get. We can get the full event details. So how do we get access to that one? Go back to your application in the start if you click here on the top of your action chain, you can see right now the input parameter is just the selection. We're gonna add another thing. We're gonna call this one detail, okay? This is going to be of type object, okay? So now we have two input parameters to this action. Now this action is being called from over here on the chart, we have the action chain, and you can see that the selection is already mapped, but the detail is not. So let's click on assign, and you see the selection is mapped over here from the value that is part of the details that we're getting here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the detail here, and we're gonna map this one at the top here. This would get us more information into this detail area. So now let's click save, and go back to our UI, and we can refresh again. and we'll clear the console. And now let's click on something over here, okay? And let's look at what we passed over to this action, okay? So now we also passed in the event detail, okay? And you can see the details over here. So let's expand this. We can see uh, the selection and we can also see the detail, okay? If we expand this detail, Over here, you can see the full selection data. And in the selection data, okay, we can see also information about the series. For example, the name of the series, which is the department name. Okay, so if we want to show this information now, we just traverse our object. So we have detail and then selection data, which is an array. So we need the first entry, which is zero. And then we can get to the series data and the name. So let's go back to our um, action chain and we can modify and over here we're going to access the detail. Okay, Then inside the detail we had the selection data and we were looking at the first record and then we had the series data and then we had the name. 
So this should get us the actual value if we look over here of the selection data, series data, and name, which would be three. All right, so now let's um, get out of here. We'll refresh the view here and click, and we can get both the series data, which is the department, and uh, sorry, this is the employee data, and this is the department, department three. If we click on the blue one, it's employee number one, and the department is number four, as we can see here. So this is how you can expand the information that you're getting from click events on a chart.